So, welcome to one of my least favorite episodes, and I know I've been pissing on it a lot. There we go. But this this one pisses me off so in chronic. <laughs> like, I don't know why, it's just not a very entertaining episode. It's a cool car, though. Meat Packers Bank. Would you trust the bank? Guys, the last chance doesn't bring in much bread, but I'd hate to lose it. That's us, micro body guys. Your service, ma'am. Yeah, considering you never see anybody working. How they're just so unironically like. It's almost time to <laughs> uh, I would like to deposit my whole life savings here, please. Oops. You kind of gotta feel bad for Grease Pit because he doesn't even get paid well for this shit. Seven. This kind of thing always happens when I go to the bank. This is a robbery. Everyone on the floor. Well, and he has a mini gun that shoots fire for some reason. And of course these guys dress like evil guys from the Old West, because that's how people dress. I got me a hostage here. Charlie. You guys always think I'm the hostage. You guys better surrender, or I'm gonna fry me some bacon for breakfast. His gun changed. Really, you don't need to save this guy, but like, they kind of put it upon themselves to make out a like Batman, but it's like, also that guy's gun changed in texture and detailing about three or four times in the period of time he was doing it. Moving the gun around, but just change again. They can't choose what this gun is supposed to look like. You could just shoot the guy. Now she has a bazooka, which is a completely different weapon from the flamethrower he was using earlier. Straight up like <laughs> fucking murdered. Tell me when you're gonna butt in like that. You wouldn't shut up. You just gotta learn a little patience. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> and she was super close with a bazooka, like in their face going, Don't move. It's like, well, you're not gonna shoot me from this range, are you? This is kind of them saying, oh, the pits is like this lower socioeconomic area. These guys are stealing banks, they're totally from that area. <laughs> You're like, we got that wrong, bro. He's got us. Dead end. And they have parachutes and they can are so poor that they can just ditch an AC co Cobra replica like it's nothing. Everything with this show is stupid! <laughs> like, So fucking weird, man. They have these weird guitar stings for things, and. Yeah, boy. Are you saying those 
those obnoxious bikes are actually fighting other criminal elements besides us. Yeah, they saved my penny collection. Boy, they was great boys. I wonder if they has a fan club. Grease pit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boys. Shut up. Oh, no. Sorry, boys. Did you see that the coins clipped into existence halfway through that shot? Yes. Any enemy of the biker mice is definitely a friend of mine. That's a really weird way of seeing him. Like you feel, you gradually start to feel really bad for Grease Pit because he gets paid shit and he's treated like shit and everyone hates him and they all say he smells and you're like what why is he here Yeah, further establishment that Vinny's a psychopath who wants to kill himself. They just threw like cement in their faces. This is Jeffrey Toll looking motherfucker. Changed some design elements of Throttle. You noticed before he had a chunk missing out of one of his ears, but they left it on Moto, but they gave him a whole ear. And they changed his earring piercing. I mean, this is her own fault at this point. Nondescript meat was eaten. Alcoholic style beverages were drank. This is bars, everyone. 
Oh, this guy's such a fucking moron. Look at him. Seriously, every girl's ass is highlighted. Why is she so good looking if she's in a pit with all of these ugly motherfuckers? This is just so weird. I just don't like this episode and I can't explain why it's just weird. It's like, got some of the most production value the first season has and it's just awkward and... Not the whole season really. Why is his ass on fire and nothing else? There's so much butt humor in this. She can just see all this. They never thought to scout it out beforehand. Since. Random, random Latino guy stereotype. Feeling back. It's no use. No man has ever beaten a mechanical gladiators. We ain't men, we're mice. Biker mice from Mars. We're getting out of here. Taking you with us. But how can you be so sure? Trust us. <laughs> He's just like not having it, that random Hispanic guy that's like a huge stereotype. Where did we get that gun? Why is it shooting like his pistol? Why are the asses always on fire? <laughs> You've got a certain style, Vinny. Just hope it doesn't get you killed. Why does she have the hots for these seven foot tall bike riding mice who are idiots? <laughs> this is a really lame gladiator event where literally nothing has happened, they're just standing in their cuffs. They're just kind of awkwardly standing. Nothing scarier than sin. No one ever beat these gladiators because no one ever tried that. How did he hear him through the wall? That's where 300 got the even gods will bleed spear chuck idea from. <laughs> Considering how rich Lawrence Lindberger is, you'd think it'd be like a million. Of an iced ice. Christmas, 
and that funny cello. <laughs> Your mouth what? <laughs> Some of these references are just fucking weird. Like they're just going over my head. They weren't already. He should be dead. He just had a bike on his ribcage. And he... And he <laughs> she's literally just running round and around the circumference of the pit. While a big guy chases a girl. <laughs> There's a lot of male bonding in this. Who are they shooting at? This cut is really weird. Why is there a castle underground? They had time to build a castle down here. To be honest, I'm surprised their bikes can't just rocket jump or wall climb up the edge of this anyway. Oh, and he's fucking dead. Oh, okay. They actually saved his ass. Oh, he threw away his life savings. Oh, poor grease pit. Size difference, the proportioning there of them going through that window. Also, is that shadow or is he painted the wall with my silhouettes? So we're here to collect the reward. Fifty thousand smackaroonies. Oh, and cheap at the price. Oh well, a deal is a deal. Here, take it. Thanks. We got a real good use for it too. Hey, pleasure doing business with you, pal. The honeymoon is over. <laughs> no one saw him casually walk around to the gun. Why do they all stay in the room with the erratically shooting laser for like a good few minutes talking and exchanging one liners. This stash should be enough to start your own store. I I don't know what to say. Hey, hey don't sweat it, bro. Yeah, we're the biker mice from Mars. And we were born to be cool. I just I just wish there was something I could do. Well there is. Always remember one thing. And that is wherever you go, whatever you do, run I freeze it so that guy got 50k for hanging out with them and being Latin for one episode, but Grease Pit loses everything and they're just like, oh, oh fuck him. <laughs> what? The tone and the message and the plot and the animation and everything is just all over the place in this show. I can't get over how weird it is, it just doesn't make any sense, nothing is consistent, like the earrings and the, the gun types and everything changed frame to frame, it's so weird.